I'm Ed. I play the part of Luke in Comfort Food. Uh, I'm an actor, obviously. I trained for three years at East 15 Acting School, which is in Essex, which is where I was born and raised, and I'm very proud of that fact. Uh, I've done lots of new writing for theatre companies and um, film as well. Um, worked with Nebula Gate Film Company, who do uh, short horror and sci-fi. I did The Mayfly with them. Done a lot of filming with uh, film schools like Cambridge School of Arts. I did Cloud Watcher and also in the city um, with them. Uh, yeah, that's me, basically. I am Jenny. I play Liana in Comfort Food. I'm an actress. Um, I trained at East 15 Acting School for four years. I've done lots of stuff since, some plays, some shorts. I did Stalker. I did um, Paid, which was a, uh, a pilot for a, a, another sitcom. I've done some stuff with the Tin Can Podcast People, which is how I met Sandy, the writer of Comfort Food, because I was in one of his um, plays. He gave me the script of Comfort Food and I read it. I thought it was marvellous. And now I'm here. Uh, I initially got involved with the project because I um, workshopped it with Sandy when he was first writing um, the pilot episode. Uh, he then came back to me and wanted to make it into a short film, which we did, and I was delighted to get involved. And then we realised that the concept had some legs to it, or at least we hope it does, so we, uh, so we decided that we were going to do this, and I agreed, and here I am. A lot of scripts that I read or that get given are like the bloke sets up all the jokes, like does all the jokes and then the girl's just sort of like the straight woman and is like just running around like being annoying or or even even a lot of scripts that I get given written by women. But what I liked about this script was that like it's sort of equal, it's a nice balance between the two characters and like Liana, my character has as much kind of funny jokes and stuff to say as as Luke the other character does. I was initially attracted to the script, um I think it's it's just a it's a very sweet story. Uh, you know, it's about a couple whose relationship works. They're meant to be together, and we chart the journey of you know how they make that work. And it's through such a novel way. I don't you know cooking together. It's it's something I think a lot of couples can relate to. So um, yeah, it was just a an idea that sat nicely in the heart. I think <laughs> it's a great thing to do with your pennies. I think it's a bit like it's like going to the theatre except you're not just paying the price for a ticket and seeing the show at the end and not being involved you're giving you know as much money as you want to from anything like one dollar or as much as you want um, and you're involved in the making of something exciting and new and fresh you know fundamentally i think it comes down to the way that the way that the arts are going to be funded from now on, I think you know this is a turning point with the way things are, are going economically. You know, we don't have a lot of money to invest in in short projects anymore, and it's just a way for people to invest in their own uh, entertainment. Really, a project that hopefully that they'll get something out of and they'll enjoy. Um, you know, I think this is the way a lot of funding is going to go for for projects now, approaching the audience before they've even seen the final product. So, this is a, a way for them to be pioneers. For the, for the arts. If you could take a cheeseburger and put it in a blender until it was a liquid, then poured it over another cheeseburger, would that cheeseburger have double cheeseburger flavour? No. What's the worst thing about being an actor? Having no money. <laughs> I'm joking, I do have a little bit. I don't want to sound too sad, but yeah, it's tough. What is your favourite romance film? Um, that would have to be Die Hard. Yeah. It's not a romance film, but it is. It's very romantic. It's true. It's also my favourite film. He does kill a lot of terrorists. It's a man's life. relationship. Yeah, exactly, danger. yeah. Yeah. I think it's beautiful. <laughs> If you could throw a custard pie at anyone, who would it be? Tony Blair. Why? No <laughs> comment. <laughs> I guess he's watching. <laughs> I was going to invest in this show. <laughs>
<laughs> Maybe I shouldn't say Tony Blair. <laughs> say four people. Your mother. <laughs> yeah. Where are all the Cabbage Patch parents? Uh, in a room together, <laughs> having tea, talking about their ugly, ugly babies. Who would play you in the movies of your life? Bette Midler. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Did not see that coming. Good choice. And Jen questions. <laughs>